I've been sending a link to this little mod that's been popping up for the AH-6J Little Bird helicopter that's been created for DCS. Now, it's not a intended mod, but the creator, Nebulot, I hope that's how you pronounce it, created the basic helicopter EFM, and he's used the AH-6J Little Bird as a demo aircraft on how to use and how the EFM can be used. So EFM is basically the code for helicopters to be built on, and he's made it free for people to use to work on and create their own helicopters. But he went ahead and created the AH-6 Shader Little Bird as a demo to show how this works. So I thought I'll quickly take a, a look through it, get it downloaded, show you guys how to install it, and we can pop it or we'll jump into DCS and have a play around with it. Now, to note, as already stated, he originally created this just for the EFM basic model. So the AH-6J Little Bird was his side project and it is not fully operational yet. Um, and he said if there's enough interest, he might continue working on it. So as you can see on the screen, it's a lot of missing features and limitations. Um, currently, there's no vortex ring state. Lift is not affected by altitude or temperature. The flight model is not closely accurate to the real aircraft. Radio and communications are not functional. Many of the engine gauges doesn't function. There's no pilot model yet. No external texturing. There's only the flat black one. No GAU-19. And there's probably some bugs. Currently, it has main flight instrument functionality, working weapon system and cold start with clickable switches. So it's a full fidelity cockpit. Can control from both seats. It's got a working RWR. You can use them. M135 minigun and rockets, M134 minigun and rockets. It's got a basic damage model and basic multi crew. It can switch controls, but cockpits are not synced yet between players. Uh, within the documents, there's a cold start procedure that can be found. The flight model is created from the NASA CR 3144, and the framework is of Captain Smiley's F 16 EFM demo. Flood model uses the data from the OH6KS and engine and electric systems are also based on the OH6 due to lack of information of the little bird. Please note that the cockpit and systems are not 100% accurate to the AH6J little bird and he tried to make it as close as possible but the truth is a picture of the cockpit doesn't exist on the internet or that he can't find after looking for many hours. So if you guys also have any photos or sources to help please feel free to Jump on the thread and I will link it in the description below and assist Nebulot with some info and let's see if we can get this model built up to, to a nice little little bird to fly around in DCS. Then lastly, thanks to Captain Smiley for the original F-16 demo, Nero.ger for his RWR example script and the A4E dev team for providing working examples of the systems. And here you can see some in-game screenshots looking pretty good from just the screenshots there's a good explanation of the main panel and some change logs and the cold start procedure so I've opened it up here let's go ahead and download it Google Drive can't scan for viruses, this is due to the size of the file, but it's pretty fine, it's a trusted source, so I'm going ahead and downloading it. Pretty small mod, um, compared to some of the other mods that you download, uh, 600-700 megs in range, so this is a quick and easy download. As always, I'm going to go to your C drive, your root, your user file, your user saved games depending DCS or DCS open beta what you fly I fly DCS open beta and into your mods folder and lastly your aircraft folder there is a note to say that it's that he's testing it on open beta so I do not know if it works as stable um, but I will find out and update you guys okay now it's downloaded let's open it up it's currently on version 0 0.21. 
So there's all the system files. So you only need to extract the AX6-6J into your mods aircraft folder. And as always, I will go and make sure that read only is ticked off. Okay, let's fire up DCS and see how this little bird performs. Okay, DCS is all fired up. Uh, let's quickly have a look here at the bottom if there is an icon. And there it is, AH6 0.2. And it's currently just using the standard DCS background wallpaper. Let's quickly go before I start, or we can do it in game. AX6J, we'll do a cold start. Oh, that's a nice little loading screen. You can see the little three little little birds in action. We add Sanaka Kolki. Give it a fly. Okay, as always, put the flashlight on. Let's have a quick look around. Said it's a black texture outside. So it's a very simple basic model at the moment. But as he said it's intended just to show off his EFM framework and either this just as a demo. To, to illustrate what it can do. I really do hope they continue working on it because I think a little bit in DCS would just be awesome. First things first, let's get controls adjusted. Collective works. It's like a quick look outside. It's a five blade aircraft. I'll put some stats up on the right and we can take a walk through it. But it's a very matte black. But still, I love. I love the little bird. And it's evident the pilot model is missing, but we know that is currently not implemented. Right, let's get us started up, and I'll put the checklist here on the screen so we can run through it. Power select the switch up for battery or down for ground power. So that's obviously if you wanted ground power, but we'll have to get the ground crew then to connect the electrical power. We'll just go with onboard battery for now. All switch starter until N1 RPM is about 15%. I'll just zoom in here so we can see the percent RPM. Holding in 15%, press N to go into idle. Move the throttle into idle cutoff. Hold until 62%. She started up and now we can switch on the generator and the inverter. Now we can increase N1 RPM to 100% by turning the throttle up. So click on side. Obviously be good to have the model be worked on a bit and I hope I hope he works on it or a community member jumps in and, and assists because again this little bird is really fun to fly. Okay, let's run through the cockpit quickly here. Uh, just put my light on again. Rocket ripple, master arm, master off. 
Midges and Jetchison. Rockets left, right, left and right, just right. We'll go left and right. Guns left and right. That's not functioning at the moment. What will be our display knob? These buttons, that button, position light switch. So that position lights work. That we know is the battery switch, that we know is the generator switch, and that we know is the inverter switch. Those switches don't work yet. Navigation doesn't work, radio doesn't work, tech end doesn't work. And none of these switches work at the moment. And these are the fuses. No switches there work. Little bird doesn't really have switches at the top there because of this glass open canopy for for great maneuverability. So you've got you can visualize and see where you're going. Now as far as I know, the RWR works. And there's the RWR power switch, and that's the RWR brightness, and that works. Great, ground crew rearm refuel. Let's see what we've got. We have the rockets LUA61s 19 of or LUA68s 7 of. Those are practice rounds. We shall go with the LUA61s. Same for the right and left wing. In the middle we've got the M134 minigun pod and the M134 minigun pod. Fuel capacity full, currently there's no liveries. And we've got one selected, pre-selected layout. With the engine heat functioning properly, that looks good. Let's see if the pods actually get loaded or if that's not been modeled yet. Maybe these needs to be off. Okay, what we'll do is let's quickly jump into a mission editor. Awesome, so my wingman spawned in. Okay. Let's quickly get this a little bit fired up again. Onboard battery. I'm switch until we get 15%. And to put throttle into idle cutoff position. We're holding for 62%. At 62%, generator on, inverter on. Now we can push throttle to 100. Put RWR on. Doesn't seem like the AI knows how to start up the little bird. Let's go. Request rearming. I think the rearming obviously doesn't work because the radio isn't actually functional. So let's quickly preload the armament. Let's quickly preload the layout. I want that one. And 
give me my ringman the same. Line, you just want to save it and start. Okay, so now we preload it. Oh, nice, and actually loads the pods and the guns. Still matte black, the pods, those are obviously from previous or existing DCS mod other models. Uh, the miniguns do look custom modeled because it's also the matte black with a no texture. Alright, let's do a startup quickly again. Luckily, this doesn't take long. Onboard battery. All in home. Start up waiting 15%. Press N to put the throttle into the idle cutoff position. Holding until 62%. 62% generator on, inverter on, and we can increase to 100%. Can see the blades do adjust with speed of the throttle position, so that's good. That's still a little bit slow. At 100%, it needs to blend in a bit more. Um, but again, this is a very early access model. So now we can put guns and rockets to both. Put our RWR on. And we'll see what is modeled or not modeled yet. But now the little bit in other games like Armour and them are very sensitive, so this is going to be a fun experiment. Yeah, there we go. I only recently got my pedals, I'm still getting used to the pedals as well. Collective is very sensitive. Hey, my wingman is starting up, that's good to see. Collective is sensitive, altitude seems to work. Vertical speed seems to work. For a fly, like that the the dot on the glass has been modelled, and that's basically the aiming reticle for for the little bird. Getting up to speed, there we go, 100 knots. The rudder bubble seems to work. Altimeter works. Lost indicator works. The amps for the battery don't work yet, temperature don't work yet, oil pressure don't work yet, fuel gauge 784, um, we'll see, it doesn't seem to, 783, so that works, okay, miniguns, ah, forgot to put master arm on, master arm on, Oh, that's a good feeling. Rockets. It's only firing from the left when I've got left and right selected. Uh, let's quickly... Test guns and rockets. Whoa, that's the helicopter's not supposed to do that. Let's test guns and rockets selected to right. Right selected. Right rockets.
Okay, rocket lift, gun lift, gun lift, rocket lift. That works. Rocket left and right. There we go. You need to just need some consecutive firing and then rocket ripple mode. That should be fun. And I'm out of rockets. Let's go land and quickly. Oh, I can't rearm. Where's my wingman? There he is. This can be fun. Radis is very sensitive, which is nice. Come here, ring man. Oh, that's not right. Okay. So although the rotor and tail rotor is gone, it looks like there we go. Now it broke. Damage model needs a little bit more work. Wingman is still on the ground over there. Yeah, oh, now they're popping smoke. That little green there in the middle. Two, three, four, two, three, five, two, two. That's your heading, and the heading indicators do work. In its current state, this little bird is very flyable. And I don't see why you can't use it in missions in some of your servers.
guys until next time thanks for watching uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the video as the updates roll out for this little bird i will be dropping him on my youtube channel and let's see uh, one last thing to test the ejection model um there we go so that does work and a little bit of still flying by itself that's interesting I'm not in the helicopter, but my, my controls actually controls controls the helicopter. Something I'll add to my little list. Something I'll add just to for the devs to take a look at if they are going to continue developing the model. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.